So last time we were talking about the different types of tests that we do to determine the minimum principal stress, which is usually SH min, but not always. It could possibly be the vertical stress. Um, and the primary test that we do for that is the DFIT, the Diagnostic Formation Integrity Test, or the Extended Leak Off Test, or sometimes called the Leak Off Test. And we talked about you know the different sort of points along that curve, from the the breakdown pressure, the fracture propagation pressure, initial shutting pressure. So all of those are sort of important in their terminology uh, that you'll hear a lot if you do this kind of work. So it's important to sort of know where those are at along that curve and how they're determined. Uh, that'll certainly be a test question. Okay. Uh, so we covered that in pretty much detail last time. So another type of test to determine the same thing is called a step rate test. So if you remember in a, in a extended leak off test, we inject at a constant pressure, I mean at a constant flow rate. So we're injecting fluid at a constant flow rate, the pressure builds up and initiates a fracture. Uh, so in a separate test, you're actually stepping up the flow rate. So you injected a constant pressure, or you, you, I'm sorry, you injected a constant flow rate and record the pressure, and then you increase the flow rate and record the pressure, and then you increase the flow rate and record the pressure, increase the flow rate and record the pressure. And of course, when there's no fracture propagation, um, you know, when essentially the only loss of fluid is due to diffusion, then small increases in flow rate are going to cause large increases in pressure. But as soon as you have initiated a, hydro, you know, initiated a fracture, and particularly uh, once it's propagating, right, so there's a significant volume of fraction there, and with each increase in, pr in uh, flow rate, then now you're increasing the volume so that the total, the sensitivity to the and the pressure is going to be less, uh, then you'll end up with a curve that looks like this. So you'll see very distinct sort of transition if you if you plot kind of two piecewise linear straight lines through them. Um, you'll see a very distinct change in slope and at the, the pressure at which these two points meet right here, this pressure is going to be your S3, your minimum. Uh, principal stress. Okay, so that's another type of test that you can do. It's called a step rate test. So 